Okay, hi, welcome. Welcome back to Life is Strange True Colors. We are on chapter four. Last time we did the law and we found out how Charlotte is truly feeling and we did choose to take the anger away from her. I did that in safety of Ethan. Honestly, that was my deciding factor on it. Pike, it's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. Citizens of Haven Springs, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe Flower Cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey, look, a rose. Can we give Sounds one to fun. Ryan? <laughs> is giving away a rose something I'd do? Yes, to Ryan. <laughs> Maybe. I can decide downstairs. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Okay, Ethan. Hey Alex, it's Ethan. I'm really sorry about that. The laugh was amazing, really. You don't have to apologize. I had so much fun with you. Have a great time with your dad and stay safe. Enjoy the spring festival. Wish I could be there, but at least I'm getting crazy good work done on the next Thanor comic. Sweet, what's happening in this issue? No spoilers, but Thanor finds the gate to the underworld and invites the king of demons. Oh snap, that actually seems like a pretty big spoiler. That's the first page. <laughs> um... Okay, you guys, uh, the plans go, oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured it out. There was a second blast the night of the accidents. Hyphen's old mind was involved. They're trying to hide something. Oh, gold. Steph and I want to hear everything. We're at the stage. Meet us when you're ready. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Oh. Traditionally, you give roses to your crush at the spring festival, so... Oh. I've never had a girl give me flowers before. I'm sorry. I didn't know you cared so much about traditional gender roles. I'll get back to my butter churning and doilies. Shut up. You first. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll come back to you. Oh, oh, she's wearing a skirt. Oh, that's so cute. Um, what outfits can we wear? Oh my god, is the Jane one? I swear that's the first life exchange. Maybe this one. The world really doesn't deserve Thanor. Alex, don't worry about me. The drive down south with my dad always makes me feel better and we have a lot of plans for the summer. He said we could go camping and make ultra s'mores. S'mores but with ice cream on top. Secret family recipe. The lab was amazing. You re are really a good bard and I hope we can do it again some soon. I already have more ideas about your backstory. Banshees. Thanks, Alex. Ethan. <laughs> Baby. Uh, USB stick. Peak. Okay. Time to head downstairs. I'm about ready to start oh. my own list. Eleanor. Um, are you joining us this evening, dear? Yes, this is one party I'm willing to brave. Ha, we'll make it as pale as possible. Okay, I don't actually know if I like this. I might keep her in the one that she was in. I kind of hate all of these. Oh, uh, no, we'll go with this one. We'll keep it. I'll keep it. I've been meaning to tell Jed about the sink, but I'm afraid he'll try to teach me how to fix it myself. <laughs> Looks like the festival is already in full swing. I'm pretty nervous. What's this? Man, the latest issue gets dark. I'm sure Ethan will be fine. Gator. I should really head down okay. to the park. Fine. <laughs> Alwyn the Bard will ride again. 
Ow. <laughs> I'm excited. I really hope we can give a rose to Ryan. Oh. Oh, the light. Fest. Thanks. I need to apologize to you guys. What happened in the apartment? Something really messed me up. These past few weeks, I thought I had a handle on my emotions. But after what happened with Charlotte, It's the same old story. I lose control, and I hurt the people I care about. I'm sorry. Yeah. Fuck that. If anyone needs to apologize, it's me. Ever since we've met, you've been there for me. And then when you're the one struggling, I bail. Not cool. I'm really sorry. It's okay. It's totally fine, but I still owe you a new trophy. Let's play for it. No. Oh, God. Not to spoil the moment, oh. but Typhon blew up their own mind. Why? I don't know yet, but we have all the evidence we need to nail them for Gabe's death. Oh, my gosh. I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence the celebration. <laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. Nice. Who's playing? Local band. You'll love them. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. <laughs> Text me when it's ready. For some reason, I feel like the band that's playing is the one who sings Zombie Parade, if which was the choice we chose rose, in the first chapter. Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. <gasps> anyway, time to enjoy the festival. 232. It's been a hell of a month. But this makes it all worthwhile. Jed loves this town no. so much. The red one was 234. It's inspiring. Wait. Um, oh, it was just a my block thing. The post has disabled replies. Oh, okay. Damn it. <sighs> one, two, Another year, three. another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I'm such a little devil. Really? Come on, jelly bean lady. That's not right. This game is so demoralizing. Why do I do this to myself? Hmm. Maybe I can help him somehow. Hey there. Guess the exact number of jelly beans and win a prize. <laughs> Only one guess per person. The exact number? Is that how this game is supposed to work? <laughs> you can go right after this determined young man. Oh, hey, nice to see you. Oh, the guy with the cat. I'm taking this jelly bean thing was it very seriously. Yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. Chrissy's been all anxious ever since she got lost. So I thought I could get her a bunch of treats, which is really embarrassing saying it out loud. Not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? 300 ish. Huh. 800 be yeah. too much for that small jar. Feels like something just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. 
this is impossible, right? 300? What a nitwit. Not even close. I was that far off? Maybe I should say something before he guesses wrong. Also, hell's your problem, lady? <laughs> hey, I've got another guess. Yeah? I think it's closer to 700. Yeah, 700 feels right. But we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. I should read her again. Hear me. They're really close to 731. Who is this girl? Hell yes! <laughs> Your secret's mine. The answer is 731. Don't ask me how. 731 jelly beans. That's... That's correct. Uh -huh. Yes! <laughs> Thanks so much for your help. You rule. No sweat. I can't believe it. How did she know? Just uh -huh. a lifetime of emotional trauma. That, yeah. Um, congratulations to our winner. Thought it was going till midnight. Perfect guess. <laughs> Yes, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Ryan, where are you? Type of person, and I am not that person. I gotta give it to Ryan. The world's most unnecessary vodka delivery system. So then, where's the after party God. this year? I just hope Riley after is doing all right. right. Oh no! Come on, what Young man to like yourself? You must know what the hell. Hi, Eleanor. Sorry. Good evening, dear. Hey, so. Where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. She's not really in the festive spirit. She was supposed to leave town tonight. If it wasn't for... You know. Oh. I'm sorry. You were so helpful to me that day at the shop. If you see Riley, maybe you could help her too? Sure. I'll... Try my best. The decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. So, we doing shots tonight or what? Of course. Body shots. Who's going first? Just kidding. <laughs> Or am I? <laughs> I better get going. Enjoy your night. You too. Does she feel better? I guess Riley is feeling sentimental tonight. But I haven't oh. seen her around. Where is she? Just wanted to take a second to see how wonderful Avon really is. Nights like this always remind me how lucky I am to call this place home. No other place will ever come close to me. Okay. Hey, Steph. I think I am going to give the rose to Ryan. So. <laughs> Ryan, how are you? I love that the radio station broadcasts live from the park. Right? It almost makes you feel like a tiny Coachella. <laughs> this tight. is awesome. So, listen, any favorite time of the year, by far. That kind of enthusiasm. Oh, 
Oh, hi, Val. They even looped you into participating, huh? Black Beast of P. Oily's Traveling Circus. Its crown jewel, the Black Beast, toured the United States in the 1930s and early 1940s before P. Oily's ultimately demise here in Haven Springs, Colorado. This ill-fated performance lingered in Haven's history for decades after and whispers of the beast remain even today. The crown jewel of Oily's Traveling Circus was known as the Black Beast, likely a melanistic color variant of the Pantheria. Witness accounts, however, defy the traditional understanding of the species, giving us unusually large size and unnatural longevity. The Black Beast was scheduled to appear at a show in Haven Springs on July 27, 1944. That night, an incident during, during the performance allowed the Black Beast to escape into the mountain wilds, killing several performers in the process. Nowadays, hikers, hunters, and the adventurers at heart still report sightings of a large shadow stalking the mountain sides of Haven Springs. I mean, good for the beast, you know, shouldn't have had to do that, honestly. I'm not gonna lie, that's bad for the beast. It should be in the wild. So this is that whole communal gathering thing everyone's always going on about. Yep, <laughs> I get it. set up meet me at the stage on my way okay sounds like ryan is ready for me i better head back oh mr lantern <laughs> i love what you've done with your bar uh i want to try finding riley i heard the call and i wanted to thank you I know you tried to do the right thing. So, what now? I'm taking Typhon down, the whole hornet's nest. I'm not betting against you, but in the meantime, they're the only ones cutting checks in town. You're too good to work for them. <laughs> it's always flattering to see how much you care about me. No wonder you try to break up me and Riley. Oh. <laughs> There's the Mac I know. <laughs> I quite like Mac. I'm not gonna lie. Take it easy, dude. Man, Haven really parties at this festival, huh? I do quite like Mac. He definitely isn't as bad as I thought he was during the first chapter that we saw him in, the whole Gabe thing. Random ATV parked at a festival with a bunch of drunk people? <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> I want to find Riley. Two-faced bitch. Hi Alex, wanted to wish you a wonderful first spring festival. Unfortunately, I have to work through it this year, but I really appreciated our conversation earlier. It was great getting to know you better. Thanks, Diane. The feeling is mutual. Okay, Ryan's here. I think we can give him the rose. Hey, Ryan. I have something for you. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> I, I wasn't mentally prepared for that at all. <laughs> wow. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Actually, I've got something for you too. Think we could meet up after the show? Is it your head in marriage? Of course. <laughs> all right, well, um, this is 
pretty much set. Um, are you ready? Not yet. Yeah. No! Who's playing? Yours truly. I thought I could Seriously? go find Riley! That's awesome! Well, wait. Who else? Me? Steph. Oh, it's gonna be Alex. Who else is playing? I hate you both. <laughs> we didn't want you to wuss out. Wussing out is highly underrated. We haven't even practiced yet. Who cares? Everyone's wasted anyway. Just play whatever. I'll follow your lead. This is gonna be awesome. Trust me. I love this game. <laughs> um, we've never played together before, and uh, come on, Alex. Anyway, sorry if this sucks. Fuck it. I loved that. I know we probably should have let her grieve with her emotions, but I did also do it hey, for the safety of Ethan. How deep do you think? The lake, I mean. Why? I don't know. I felt horrible this afternoon. I didn't know if I could survive that feeling. But now... It's like when your leg falls asleep. And even though it's still attached, it's become something other than you. My whole life, I've always felt so deeply, but maybe this is better? Charlotte, I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Me neither. Good to see you. 
see you, Alex. Have fun at the festival. She's... She's not gonna do something, is she? Sounds like Ryan wants to meet me. Okay, Oops. I gotta admit, <laughs> this is a pretty great feeling. Please don't make her have... Please don't have her do something. Please. Don't, don't go down that route. Just like- There's still a decent crowd milling around tonight. Yeah, I don't know where Riley is. Um, There's still a decent crowd milling around tonight. Okay. I really don't want them to have her do something. Just like with the mention of how deep the lake is. Perhaps I should have let her keep her anger. Uh, not tonight. Tree. <laughs> For me? <laughs> I've never been given a tree before. My mom used to get insomnia when I was a kid. She'd drive over here to the lantern, three in the morning, to work in the garden. <laughs> Sometimes she'd take me with her. It's always been a special place for me. I hope it can be for you too. I should have been taking better care of it. Come on. You've had other stuff to worry about, like totally killing that set. <laughs> You're such a rock star. Thanks for everything. I had fun. And so did the audience. You know they're going to make you do it again next year, right? <laughs> you you good? Yeah, fine. Guess I've just been too wrapped up to think about what the future looks like. <laughs> it looks like him. <laughs> okay. So let's think about it. Alex's future in Haven Springs. The major motion picture. The ride. On ice. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> it's morning. Chilly. You can see your breath. You're walking down Main Street on the way to work. Where? <sighs> the record store. Definitely the record shop. Oh, I'm sure Steph will appreciate that. Before <laughs> Ruth <laughs> right. push her out and take her job that we is. We can be co-workers. So after work. Sun's still up for another couple hours. It's warm now. You're carrying your jacket under your arm. What's the plan? Hi. Maybe I'm all outdoorsy now. A real Colorado girl. Up in the mountains with one of those little stabby sticks. <laughs> Trekking pole? <laughs> <laughs> Not as good for stabbing as you'd think. Hey, would you look at that? Who's that coming down the trail? Who? Only the coolest person in Haven Springs. 
walks up to you in an extremely cool way. <laughs> His plaid jacket swaying in the breeze. Dork. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I'm not trying to get you to plan out your whole life, but if you decide you wanted to put down roots, Haven Kiss. Springs will always make space for you. Kiss. Alex, Was that kiss a him. Pun? No. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I. I really care about you, Alex. A lot. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. Kiss her. Kiss her. I really want to kiss you right now. Oh my God. I join the festivities I'll get you a funnel cake maybe you could save me one yeah of course I'll see you down there Hey, Gabe, can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died? Who's responsible? Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull, which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. To show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Alex, do you have the USB drive? I do. Oh! It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan. I don't trust up. Pike. You need to come with me to the station. Alex? Don't make this hard. Okay. 
Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee? Coffee would be great. Thanks. I don't know why I offered. We're actually out. Pike, why am I here? <clears throat> the long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. What the hell are you talking about? Did you steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. I'm sorry. You're conducting an investigation into Typhon, right? Everything you've been looking for is on that drive. Despite my best efforts, the case is closed. What? The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, evidence just wasn't it's there. It's there! Sorry, Alex. I... They're both bearing... <laughs> the order came down today from who? High up. Boss's boss's boss. It's not my job Came to go. Came from Diane, didn't that? Look, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. Okay, I get the point. I'm sorry I stole the drive, but... Apologizing isn't enough. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. You're telling me I might go to prison for this? For five to ten years? It's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. I can't just let the brother my de the brother the death of my brother go. If you agree to drop everything. Typhon won't press any charges. She's only offering that deal because she knows I have her. She's guilty, Pike. Even if you're right, your only evidence is inadmissible. I think you should do it. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Come on. Like I said, it doesn't matter. <gasps> Ow! <laughs> Please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No! No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option.
What are you so scared of? Hello. See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? <sighs> Fuck me. Typhon Mining Company hereby referred to as a releaser agrees to drop all charges against Alexander Chen, hereby referred to as a releasee. Charges to be dropped. Uh, computer fraud. Oh, God. Uh, I think it's just read really like this. Subject Chen Alexandra. Anti Fion sentiment. Brother Gabriel Chen died in an accident related to Typhon Mining Blast. Intel shows subjects a high level of determination and efficacy. Negative effect affectation has persisted beyond predicted bereavement period. Suspect also appears to have possession of confidential data and information. What? Investigation summary. Began following subject out of meeting with Mac Loudon. Subject met with man identifies Ryan, Ryan Lucan, little else of note. Subject spent three hours in apartment. Wi Fi screen monitoring reveals searches into Typhon's history and legal litigation records. Subject met and spoke with client in Black Lantern. It appears subject has stolen an object from client. Oh my god! Close friend Gabriel Chen died in an accident related to Typhon mining blast, assisting Alexandra Chen with her efforts against Typhon, involved in and extremely distraught over accident, subject has high level of knowledge of both geography and residence of Haven. And then Stephanie, close friend Gabriel Chen, died in an accident related to Typhon mining, assisting Alexandra Chen in her efforts has proven resourceful and dangerous. They've been ex like what is it called? Assessing us for, or investigating us for a while. Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I thought I could get justice for Gabe. Yeah, well, Typhon has their own idea of justice. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big. Too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. No. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. I want to hurt Typhon so bad, but can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? Don't make me choose. Please don't make me choose. No! I don't want to put Ryan and Steph's lives at risk. I don't think that's fair. But I, I also don't want to give in to them. But the thing is, now we know the information. Now we know. Could we not go and do it ourselves, if that makes sense? Could we not go and, like, visit the other place ourselves? I don't know, a part of me regrets taking Charlotte's anger. I just... I don't want to take his fear. The only reason I took Charlotte's anger was to protect Ethan from her, although I don't think she would have done anything. I didn't want her treating him badly or having him as an like a an outlet for her anger, whereas I don't really think I have to worry about anyone with Pike. Ugh. I'm gonna just sign it. 
All I have to do is sign. Because we yeah. know now. We know the place. Yeah. Next marks the spot. Can't turn back now. Time to sign my soul away. Thank you, Alex. You did the right thing. Did I? I I, I couldn't put uh, Ryan and Steph's life at risk. Not without asking them. I just, I couldn't do it. What's gonna happen now, though? Are they here? Come see me when you get the chance, Jed, okay. I can't believe this. I had them. How did it go so wrong? We know the place, though. I right? have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. God, my eye. Sorry. I got... Uh, when I was kind of stripping First, my hair. I need to get out of this dress. Um, I got some of it in my eye. Can't wait to have nightmares tonight. And my eyes been really hurting ever since, honestly. Might as uh, well go talk to Jed now. I change it. Oh, like oh, we're stuck in this. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm all played out for tonight. It was such a nice evening. Sadly, I'll this it too, Ryan. Enjoy that ice cream. Sadly, the spring festival is over, but the fun continues at Avalanche Ice Cream. Share your favorite memory from the festival in the comments. Get one scoop with us. I shared a moment with someone very special and connected with her in a way that I will treasure forever. Damn, dude. I think you deserve two scoops for this one. Okay. Ryan, Joy. He was afraid at first. I didn't even need to read him. One of my favorite things about Ryan is he is utterly bad photo poker face kind of bonkers how you can be scared that you'll get at what you hope for and scared that you won't at the same time weird too how when your hopes come true they can still taste a little like their fear just enough to make your heart pound in your chest and your brain feel like one of those electro balls they used to sell at the mall he told me when i should stay in haven and when i looked down onto the main street for just a second i couldn't imagine anywhere else in the world i would want to be more he made me feel like i could be a part, become a part of this place. I could be as much a part of Haven Springs as the mountains and the lake and the spring festival itself. Like I deserve that. Maybe I do. My mum used to get insomnia when I was a kid. I'm not trying to get you to plan out your whole life. Kiss her, dummy. I'll meet you in the sleepless garden. Close my eyes and see a future you remembering how it felt to kiss tonight's version of me. Then we had Pike Fear. There's a threat that keeps you awake at night, all vigilant and terrified. Then there's the only one you don't even know exists, so you sleep just fine. Guess which is more likely to kill you. I thought I knew what Typhon was, but really I had no idea. Pike knew, and it terrified him. The horror, the horror of the witness, the paralyzed audience strapped in and made to watch the same inevitable choreography performed again and again and again. What have you seen, Pike? Before Gabe, before me, what secrets did you have to keep and how long did you have to keep them? I thought of Charlotte, of what I'd done to her anger. I thought it would help, but God, she's been so off. I don't think I could do that any again to anyone else, so I signed his release. 
I don't want you to get hurt, keep your head down, Typhon doesn't lose, no isn't an option. Rat girl, keep your head down, the cats will always win, pen is shaking, fist, cross your name off their list, I can't go through this again. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay, we can't go upstairs. Oh my god. Does Jed know? Wait, why does Jed want to speak with us? <laughs> the special is a hamburger, hey, a plain one. There she is. Have a seat. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. It wasn't my fault, okay? I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? Did Typhon Thurston Ryan? Take a shot. I don't really want to say anything. I'm confused about this one. I've been chasing proof that Typhon was responsible for Gabe's death. And I found out they buried something. A secret. Now they're threatening me. And Steph. And Ryan. Threatened? How? Pike showed me photos. Typhon's been watching us. Oh, oh the whole assessment thing? Yeah, okay. something. Just to get them off of Steph and Ryan. I promised I wouldn't press charges against Typhon, but... I'm not giving up, Jed. Not ever. I know what they're hiding. Wait. Please, Jed. What's the truth? What are they afraid of? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. Because he did the whole evacuation method, right? I'll show you. No, wait, I don't like this. I have a bad feeling about this. My bad feeling was right with Diane. My good feeling was right with Mac. Up ahead. Where are we? Middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. Okay. What is this thing? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. No, Alex, babes, don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. Don't go, go don't go down there by yourself. Jed. 
Why are you sad? I'm sorry, kid. Jed. What are you doing? No. No, no, I no. I tried to talk you out of it. Scare you off? When? I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick. But you were relentless. Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you you can't undo. Oh my god. But Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Did he kill his wife? Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Go to hell. Oh my god, okay, so we were in the minority for that one. Other people took his fear. We were also in the minority of giving the rose to Ryan. But I, I did like Ryan, so yeah. We had a nice moment by the bonfire. Uh, we then sit on the couch. Steph didn't meet Alex on the rooftop. Steph didn't meet Alex on the rooftop, okay. Ryan and Alex muse about her working in the record store. Most people didn't actually meet Ryan on the rooftop. Uh, Ryan and Alex shared a kiss. Oh yeah, so Ryan was more of the unpopular option. Charlotte, uh, Alex and Charlotte shared a bittersweet moment in the festival. Charlotte felt weirdly detached at the festival. Alex didn't find Ryan at the bus stop. Um, Alex didn't use her power. Ducky, where was Ducky? Oh, and she was at the bus stop. I I tried. I tried finding Riley. Alex helped the jelly bean counter win the contest. Alex didn't talk to the diner buyer. Alex didn't help them admit their feelings. Oh no! I missed so much. She just kept saying, oh, people were miling around. I didn't think that was... Oh my God. Well, that was a crazy episode. It's really the ones that you least expected, I swear to god, I did not think that it was going to be Jed. Oh my- Are we alive? He shot us point blank. Are we alive? Oh my god, anyway, well, that was it for chapter 4. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. And join me in chapter 5, which will be the final episode of Life is Strange True Colors, which is crazy. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Okay, bye!